there should be uh, some kind of automatic measure that will continue injection of water when the external power source is lost. Chief Cabinet Secretary Yuko Adano has called on people living in some areas outside the 20 kilometer exclusion zone around the damaged Fukushima Daiichi nuclear plant to leave their home within a period of about a month. Mm. He says this is necessary to avoid the effects of accumulated radiation. Cardano says some areas outside the 20 kilometer zone have high levels of accumulated radiation. He says the government has designated those areas as evacuation zones because people would be exposed to too much radiation if they were to continue living there for six months or more. Uh, the government has called on people to evacuate from areas within the 20 kilometer zone and is urging people in the 20 to 30 kilometer zone to stay indoors or leave voluntarily. And you voluntary. Today, Idano announced that some areas outside the 20 kilometer zone will be included in the evacuation zone if the total amount of radiation for one year is expected to exceed 20 millisieverts. Idano says people in these areas should plan to evacuate even though it will understandably involve huge difficulties and hardship. He says it would be best if they could move out within a month, but that's not something they need to do immediately. He says there's no need to panic. Did you heard this? We are the 11th April 2011. Mr. Edano said it. will be designated a prepare to evacuate zone. Next, we look at the government announcement on how evacuations should be carried out. This is the previous government instruction on evacuation. The government has already instructed people within a 20 kilometer radius of the nuclear power plant to evacuate. People living 20 to 30 kilometers from the plant were told to stay indoors and could decide for themselves whether to evacuate. But the government issued revised instructions today. For areas within the 20 kilometer radius of the nuclear plant, the evacuation order is maintained. Areas outside the 20 kilometer radius where annual radiation exposure is forecast to exceed 20 millisieverts are designated as districts for planning evacuation. The government says it wants people in these areas to evacuate over the next four weeks. The districts for planning evacuation include Katara village, Namie Town, Yitate Village, some parts of Kawamata Town, and Minami Soma Town, all in Fukushima Prefecture. The government will designate the following as districts to prepare for evacuation in case of an emergency. The districts of Hiroto Town, Narahata Town, Kawuchi village, some parts of Tamara city and Minami Soma city, which are all 20 to 30 kilometers from the nuclear plant. Government says people in these districts should always be prepared to stay indoors or to evacuate if an emergency occurs. The government says people in these districts should be ready to evacuate on their own in an emergency situation. If the voluntary evacuation is difficult, they should, in the event of emergency, they should um, start evacuating and children, pregnant women, people who need care and hospitalized patients should not enter these re re areas. The government's new evacuation zone was based on an advisory issued four years ago by the International Commission on Radiological Protection.
It says annual radiation exposure should be 20 to 100 millisieverts in emergencies. Japan took the lowest figure and decided that annual exposure in the expanded evacuation zone should be less than 20 millisieverts. Since March 23rd, the Science Ministry has installed measuring instruments at 15 locations outside a 20-kilometer radius of the Fukushima Daiichi plant to monitor accumulated radiation. If someone stayed outdoors for 17 straight days till yesterday, the accumulated radiation dose was 14.48 millisieverts in one area of Namie town more than 30 kilometers northwest of the plant, and 8.44 millisieverts in one area of Itate village, about 30 kilometers from the plant. Both are inside the new evacuation zone. The doses are higher than one millisievert, the level of man-made radiation a person can safely absorb, but are not high enough to immediately affect health. Come on, stop immediately affect the health. reporter Mamori Yoshikawa. Why has the government set the evacuation zones in this way? As for the planned evacuation zone, this is based on the scientific judgment by taking into account the safety of the residents. Even without the additional emission of the radiation, if people are exposed to the radiation, for half a year or over a year, uh, there is concern that it may affect the human health. So this is a response to address this concern based on the results of the measurement of the radiation dose. The annual cumulative dose may reach a certain uh, level and such areas were set for planned evacuation. The zones were set based on the results of the measurement of the radiation dose. So. Some areas were included in the new zones and others were not, uh, even though they used to belong to the same category of areas where people were ordered to stay indoors. And as for the uh, further than 30 kilometers away from the plant, uh, some uh, municipalities are included for plant evacuation, such as Hizat Village and Kamata Town. News testing, according to uh, the National Police Agency in uh, Fukushima, Houses collapsed and four people are trapped inside in Iwaki City in Fukushima Prefecture, according to National Police Agency. A house collapsed and four people are reported to be trapped inside, and the uh, police officers are going to the site. In addition to the planned evacuation zone, there is another category of an area where people should be ready to evacuate in case of emergency. What about it? The radiation level is lower than the 30 kilometer range in some cases. So uh, some evacuees are returning to their region again and uh, some residents said that the order to stay indoors was ambiguous and they said that they didn't know how to take action. So the government decided to review uh, these instructions and uh, reviewed the instructions in, to, in line with the reality to clearly show who should evacuate such as children and pregnant women. The government's decision to expand the evacuation zone is causing concern in the areas that will be affected. Kawabata town in Fukushima prefecture is 33 to 50 kilometers northwest of the nuclear plant. Until now, none of the town's residents have been instructed to evacuate or stay indoors. Yasuhiko Kano raises about 50 cows in the town's Yamakia district. He says he's not sure if he'll comply with the government's new instruction to evacuate. 
Carlo says he cannot leave his cars behind. He says his family may evacuate, but he'll have to stay here to look after his cars. He says unless he can find someone who can take care of them, he'll not leave them behind. Itate village in Fukushima prefecture is now entirely within the expanded evacuation zone. Last month, radioactive iodine was detected in tap water in the village at three times the maximum permissible level. As of Saturday, accumulated radiation doses since March 11th at a location just over 30 kilometers northwest of the nuclear plant reached a total of 8.44 millisieverts. That's about eight times the maximum annual permissible dose for the general public. Okay. The village mayor says he's told the government the radiation levels have been higher in some parts of the village than others, and it's wrong to give the village a broad brush treatment. But he says the government would not listen to him. This owner says he doesn't understand what the central government wants the local business community to do. He says companies cannot survive if they have to evacuate at such short notice. Another says he can't understand why the entire village has to evacuate now. The government says the radiation levels do not pose an immediate health risk. Mm. New information on the houses collapsed in uh, Iwaki City in Fukushima Prefecture. Four people are reported to be trapped inside, and uh, police officers are going to the site to check. According to the firefighters, at 6.30 p.m. in uh, the town of Tabito in Iwaki City, Fukushima Prefecture, where the uh, six minus earthquake was uh, occurring. Um, three to four houses were damaged by an avalanche and people might have been involved. According to a teacher at Ishizumi uh, Primary School in Iwaki City, near the site, houses um, collapsing uh, in one corner of a residential area on the eastern side of the school and four residents are reported to be involved. And we're back with our reporter Yoshikawa. The residents in this area must be feeling very apprehensive. And how? what will the government do to facilitate the evacuation? The government says it will discuss specific measures and timetables with local governments so that the necessary evacuations can be completed in about one month. And the government says that it will give sufficient explanation about its decision to revise the evacuation scheme and will make efforts to find places where evacuees will be accommodated and about paying compensation for losses incurred by the evacuations. And through such efforts, it will seek understanding from the residents. There has been severe criticism that communication has been poor between the central government and local governments regarding evacuation plans. So the central government will be required to communicate closely with local governments and pay attention to the residents' needs. Exactly one month after the March 11th earthquake and tsunami, people across the country remembered the victims by observing a minute silence. Many parts of the affected areas are still covered by debris. It was a cold morning. More than 27,000 people are dead or missing. This man's five family members were swept away by the tsunami. The man says he wishes he had died in their place. He says the thought never leaves his mind. <laughs>